everyone, and welcome to... Who does that? Somebody does that. They go, ha. <laughs> uh, we are reacting to an exclusive, or at least... I think it was supposed to be exclusive, and then and then the guy gave it to everyone, so... Come on, dude, what are you doing? <laughs> but this is a gameplay of Death Ground. That is the horror survival teamwork game that uh, I put up a video maybe a week ago on, uh, which is basically Left 4 Dead. You, you complete objectives while uh, dinosaurs are in the area, and you've got to work together as a team to do the mission, which is either collect data uh, and then get out. Uh, like evac, have a helicopter or something or whatever. Um, so right off the bat, I want to mention just a couple of things people have uh, said about it. Uh, one of them being that um, the dinosaurs look terrible, or <laughs> look very basic. Um, I don't know exactly, I need to ask him a few more questions what he's going to do about that, because I watched an Anthomnia video where he interviewed him, and he said that he was going to make the dinosaurs more scientifically accurate, like using the latest scientific findings to uh, help design the dinosaurs or something on those lines. So the important stuff will be custom assets like using the latest paleontology to inform dinosaur designs uh, and this is why our community is so important to help guide. But we know that what we are hitting now is really just the beginning of the ultimate potential for the game. The dino designs and animation are very early of course and we'll get far more work. And yeah there are some placeholder assets in the game right now However, we have the experience to know where resources best spent. So it's about optimizing production so that the maximum amount of time is really put into the things that matter, like the dinosaurs. I thought it was a bit odd. I was like, but you said that, okay, <laughs> never mind. And that some of the stuff that's in the game is placeholders. I think people uh, mentioned that the T-Rex roar was a Acrocanthosaurus roar from Ark. <laughs> I don't know exactly if that's true. I haven't double checked it myself, but if you guys managed to pick that out, uh, I assume that you're probably right. <laughs> so there's uh, some there's some things in there that are, are placeholders at the moment. Be awesome, need some delivery on the rewards with Day of Dr- Bugger off. <laughs> I'm not completing that. Jog on. So they have 20 days left and they have got 60,000 pound. Uh, out of 80,000. So I would assume that they're probably going to get it, which means that we're going to get to see uh, the game that, you know, we want to see. This survival horror kind of game. So let's have a look. Let's watch the gameplay. First playable. Okay, so this is actual gameplay. This isn't like a cutscene. This isn't any movie. This is actual gameplay. So we've got a torch. Okay. Okay. So this is. Oh, there's. Okay, so there's a raptor. Oh, and that, that faded. That faded. So this is a different different gameplay. Okay, X to open. Ooh, all right, all right. Go up the steps, yes. There's a lot of dust in the air. What's going on? <laughs> what is COVID? <laughs> okay, so collected a key code. Oh, oh, here we go. Ooh, use a fuse. Okay, so there's obviously obstacles that you need to get by. I'm just wondering, like, would you be safe in a room like that, or could a raptor come in? Okay, there's a raptor. It, it doesn't seem to be phased by the light shining on it. Of course, this is still... Like, it's not even made yet, so I'd assume maybe if the raptor was to see the torch that it would look around and find you. <laughs> that is so alien. Beating, 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 beating. Okay, so we've seen that we've seen this kind of thing. So the raptor, if you if you go in here, um, oh okay, there you go, being chased by a raptor. Oh, you've got a sprint meter. Oh, T Rex. Oh, interesting. Right. Huh. I'm still not sold on the name. I will admit, I'm not still not sold on the name. Death Ground doesn't really roll off the tongue, does it? Death Island, maybe. God, those are some falling, very slow falling leaves. So this is a different area outside in the forest. So we're, maybe we're going to get like raptors and T-Rex. So maybe you want to like have them go to each other. 
so that they distract each other and maybe you can get by that way. That could be cool. There's some mechanics in there. Okay, so it looks to me... Okay, we'll probably just loop this a million and one times, shall we? Uh, it looks to me they've definitely got, like, the... This area sorted. They know what they're doing here. They've got a little bit of the outside done. Uh, of course, this hasn't even been funded, so this is just showing what the gameplay could be like. Um... It looks, it looks promising, definitely. I mean, I've, I've seen, I, after, like, you know, my video went out and I saw uh, the comments about the dinosaurs' animations, yes, they are very rough. It's kind of like, done, pose, pose, pose. <laughs> like, there's no easing in, there's no, like, secondary animation, like, dung, dung, dung. And they only had one, like, attack animation, which was the hug. <laughs> ah! I've got my tea with me today. Royal milk tea, if anybody's had that. I don't know if it's just Japanese exclusive or whatever. It's super sweet. Oh, it's gorgeous. I love it. Oh, God, it is really sweet. <laughs> Straight way to diabetes. <laughs> but it's nice. Um, yeah, this is interesting. I don't know. So you can hack. You've got to, you know, get places via, you know, maybe doors closed. So you need to get a fuse. I'm just wondering how communication's going to work. And can, like... I'd assume if, like, the raptor saw you come into the thing, and they, they cut it off here, where, like, the raptor comes to the, the locker, and I'm wondering whether he'll be able to... I mean, it doesn't look too fast at the moment. Like, the running animation, and he was being chased by a raptor, it's very, like... You know, it's like, it doesn't feel like he's running quite fast. And, of course, this is because it's quite... It's early days at the moment. I'd love to see what this looks like uh, when it's completed. I mean, of course, we all do. Uh, and I'm, I mean, I'm, the people behind this, they, they know what they're doing. Um, and I, I just hope that it does turn out the way that like people expect it and want it to. Because um, if, if, if the game was to launch like this, it's too slow. It's, like, even the running's too slow. The animations need fixing. I'd say the dinosaur models um, need probably, like, more modeling. And, of course, they need roars. Um, I, I, I mean, that I think that is just a general, like, you can get that with something with Unity. Like, you can get the first-person shooter and drag and drop that into Unity, and you can easily do that. Because I did that with... Jurassic Dream or something. I don't know what it was. It was a Jurassic Park game and it had a gun. You could you could tell like that. So it's nice to see that we are actually getting gameplay though. The people who've worked on this game have worked on like actual other games. It's not this isn't like a be awesome fiasco where the guy's completely unknown and gets like two million dollars and there you go. He just he gives you some free some store bought assets and he says that's a reward. <laughs> Whereas this does seem to be. Um, I mean I'm not well versed in the gaming like community and whether oh that's that's that bot thing and that's that thing it could well be and i think he has admitted that there are placeholders in the game at the moment but I and mean, that looks cool that looks cool and we're gonna get allosaurs and other dinosaurs but there you have it um it looks it looks promising and it looks like they're gonna hit their kickstarter and with multiplayer and with all these other fixes that I've mentioned, it looks to be a really good game, definitely. And something that I would, like, we just get some people, like, just have a run through and see, like, if maybe we can speedrun it or <laughs> something like that. Left 4 Dead is, is a game that, you know, you've been able to play for years. Like, I played it not too long ago and it still holds up. It's such a good game. Um, I'm just wondering whether, like, because with Left 4 Dead, you've got these zombies that are just, you know, you can take out quite easily. And this is, this is sort of like, well, it's a raptor and it's a big deal. Like, you can't just run around. You have to really focus. It's nice to have these parts and there was always a little bit of that with Left 4 Dead with the witch. It was like, okay, guys, we need to focus. Everyone turn off your lights and, like, this is where the witch is. Go around this way. And this is this that's what this game feels like the whole game is the whole game is there's a witch everywhere be careful you know and i get that's what they're trying to do in a way like um you know there's only one character with a gun that's the hunter you got the engineer and you've got the scout which this seems to be mainly the scout because you've got the tracker and the scout has the tracker um it will be interesting to see how the hunters like dealt with whether it has like loads of bullets whether you know um how many shots it takes to kill a raptor um i don't know i, I think it would be good to have 
um, you know, other characters be able to have like a pistol or something like that or a taser or something. Um, like, and maybe using the gun is a bad thing, you know, because it makes sound, therefore it draws attention to everything else. Um, I don't know. And there's definitely, there's like, there's, there's so many things you can do with this. We're looking at a very bare, you know, framework here. There's definitely a lot of promise. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed this video, it was, it was a short one. I just wanted to show you guys the uh, new gameplay because it does look promising. And we will have another reaction video in an hour or so, I think. Because something else has came out uh, that I really want to cover and I want to have a look at. So I'll see you in a second. Or Well, for me, it's a second. For you, it's probably an hour or something. But anyway, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, Bye-bye.